Did she just call you Darlene? Yeah, I have no problem with it. It's very modern. It allows the parent and the child to address each other as equals. Thanks, Jackie. Please call me Aunt Jackie is the only title that I have. A scene from Roseanne, the show that exploded back onto television last month after 21 years away with huge ratings that shook the country. Lori Metcalf has returned as Roseanne's younger sister, Jackie, a role that earned her three Emmy Awards during the show's original run. Starring on the most popular and most talked about show on television is just the latest chapter in a dream professional year for Metcalf. Last June, she won the Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play. And earlier this year, she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her acclaimed role in Lady Bird. Lori and I got together here in New York for a Sunday sit-down to talk about that whirlwind and her latest adventure on Broadway. When the cast of Roseanne got the band back together for a revival of the former number one show on television, the actors were not entirely sure how viewers would respond the second time around. When those numbers came out the next day and it was 20 million and it grew with DVR to 25 million, Numbers people hadn't seen on network TV in a long time. What were you thinking? Well, I didn't really know what the numbers meant. I didn't have any context for it. So, and then somebody said, no, no, that's like triple good. So I thought, oh, okay, well, <laughs> I'll take your word for it. During the show's first nine season run, Lori Metcalf won three consecutive Emmys playing the chaotic but cool Aunt Jackie. More than two decades later, What's up, deplorable? Roseanne is not just a ratings hit, but the subject of a cultural debate over the reason for its massive popularity and its willingness to take on hot-button topics. But most of all, Lord, thank you for making America great again. Some people say finally it's a show for Trump's America, where every other show is for coastal America. I don't know why it got labeled that exactly, for Trump's America, because I don't think it's that. We couldn't not address it, and I thought the writers did it really well, that is that it caused a rift in the family, but I don't, I don't think it's, uh, they're not consciously writing it for a certain political view. But some of the issues that are on these new shows are, some are different, like opioids, addiction, and some are the, exactly the same of what they were 20 years ago. Roseanne is the latest in a string of recent successes for the 62-year-old Metcalf. Ten months ago, she won a Tony for her role in A Doll's House Part Two on Broadway. At last month's Oscars, she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the indie hit Lady Bird. I want to go where culture is, like New York, or at least Connecticut. And while Metcalf is starring on TV's top-rated show, she's also on its second highest-rated program, the longtime hit comedy The Big Bang Theory. I love the boy to death, but he has been difficult since he fell out of me at the Kmart. <laughs> You've been called a workaholic. I think it's pretty accurate. I love the work, and so I like to keep the work coming. I really don't know too well what to do with my downtime in between jobs. I, I get a little antsy. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get back on a stage somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's right where she is now. Starring on Broadway in Edward Albee's Three Tall Women, which has drawn critical raves and packed houses. That's the thrill of being in something live. The rush of the, the response, uh, that, that instant gratification that you get when you're, you're all in the room together. Over a 40-year career, television and film have made Metcalf famous. But it's the stage where she always returns to feel at home. I like that there are no cameras involved. I have a camera phobia, and I've never been able to shake it. And at my age now, I don't think I'm ever going really? to be able to. Yeah, well, even we're not helping all, you much today, are we? No, we no, seven no, cameras. None, none of you are. None of you are. <laughs> Especially the moving <laughs> one, that, which is signaling, "I'm over this, here. I'm over here." This is your waking nightmare yeah, right yeah, now. That's right. <laughs> Metcalf was raised in Edwardsville, Illinois. From a young age, Lori liked to have an audience. 
you can't call it acting. I don't know what you could call it. But I had a swing set in the backyard. And I had a record player and an extension cord and had a record for some reason of when the red, red robin goes bob, bob, bobbing along. I put that on. I set up lawn chairs. I charged money. And you sat and you watched me swing in time to the music. And you charged for that. I charged. And that, so like, is it, was it acting? What was it? Performance it, art. Perfor- it was a performance <laughs> art. Yeah. So that, that's when I thought, I can, do, I can do this. I can do this. Metcalf earned a degree in acting at Illinois State University. In 1976, Metcalf teamed up with a group of actors, including Gary Sinise, to found Chicago's famed Steppenwolf Theater. I owe a lot of it to that company. You know, I I don't know that I would even be in acting if I hadn't done it in the early days with that group. Metcalf married fellow Steppenwolf founder Jeff Perry in 1983 and had a daughter, Zoe Perry, who now is an actor too. Who's Jim? Oh God, Susan gets tomorrow. Who's Susan? You know these people? A year later, Metcalf landed her first movie role in Desperately Seeking Susan alongside a superstar named Madonna. In 1988, Metcalf landed her breakout role on Roseanne. The show changed her career and her life off screen. After a divorce from Perry, Metcalf married her Roseanne co-star, Matt Roth. They have three children together. The success of Roseanne brought new opportunities in Hollywood. Andy, let's go! Among Metcalf's movie roles is the voice of Andy's mom in all three Toy Story movies, with another on the way next year. Lady Bird, believe it or not, was Metcalf's first movie in 10 years. Do you like me? And the experience of being a part of an Oscar darling was entirely new. What was it like to be on the red carpet of the Oscars? I know you flew in that morning, right? Part of me thinks that it didn't even really happen. (laughs) I had a very, very early flight, got to the airport, sat on the runway for two and a half hours. Cutting it close for the Oscars. Yeah, I know. Like, I I would have been dragging a (laughs) roll-on bag down the red carpet, running barefoot. Laura, give us a wave! Do you want to do another movie now? Acting jobs, um, movies are at the bottom for me. I, I don't really enjoy the, um, why, why am I shooting myself in the foot like this? <laughs> of, of, I might as well say, no, no movie submissions, please. She gets nominated for an Oscar and she's out. That's it. <laughs> Walk away I'd at that point. I wash my hands of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard I've heard people say that the process takes too long and the process is is not for for me. You do some big emotional scene and then you think, "Whoo, we got it." And then you realize, "Oh, that was the master." Oh, now we're for the next 6 hours we're going to come in and do close-ups and over the shoulder. It's not like Broadway where you walk in for 2 hours and you walk out and that's it. Yeah. It's completely different animals, you know, so Yes, I would love to do another movie, is the answer. <laughs> At the end of that, you say, yes, I'd love to do one. <laughs> Somehow I think she'll still be getting movie offers. Roseanne airs Tuesday nights on ABC. You can see Laurie and Three Tall Women on Broadway now. And by the way, this year's Tony nominations will be announced on Tuesday. Our thanks to 48 Lounge here in New York for the setting there for that interview. To hear more from Lori about Lady Bird and why Saoirse Ronan, who played her daughter, actually mentored Lori on the set, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the entire unedited interview with Lori Metcalf. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. While you're there, you'll also find our extended interviews with Billion star Damian Lewis and Bill Murray, among many others. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.